electric cars are way too expensive. It's true. And that's coming from someone who actually likes and owns electric cars. Why do they cost so much? Why, if you want to buy a proper family EV, will it cost you a minimum of £25,000 for something like a BYD Dolphin or an MG4? It's ridiculous. And importantly, when will these new EV prices start to come down? Anytime soon? Actually, yes. Prices have to start falling and pretty soon. And my bet is that EVs are gonna to start to become a lot more affordable in a very short space of time. I know people have been saying it for years and it hasn't quite happened so far, but there are now several good reasons why new electric cars are gonna start becoming a lot more affordable. It's imminent, trust me, we're gonna break it down. But before we do that, can we just take a moment to celebrate the arrival of our new gold play button. This just arrived recently. Auto Trader, 1 million subscribers. How good does that look, huh? And by the way, if you haven't subscribed, if you're not one of these million people that have joined us, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, because you're in for a treat. Right, on with the show. Okay, now, reason number one why electric cars will start to become more affordable. There are more and more electric cars being built. It's simple. Obviously, demand has dropped off a little bit. Last year, the Prime Minister of Britain delayed a ban on ICE vehicles in 2030, partly because the upfront cost of EVs was just too much, especially for people struggling with the cost of living. And that probably did contribute to people thinking twice about buying EVs, but that hasn't stopped car makers from building them at the same speed. They have to. The government still has a zero emissions vehicle mandate, a ZEV mandate, which imposes targets on car makers all the way up to 2035. What it means is that at least 22% of every car maker's range must be purely electric now, otherwise they get fined. In 2025, that raises to 28%. In 2026, 33% must be fully electric, all the way up to 80% in 2030 and 100% in 2035. That means there are more new electric cars coming into a market at a time when buyers are uncertain about making the switch from petrol or diesel. So if you're a car manufacturer and you're competing with so many other electric cars, what's the best way of making your car stand out? You make it cheaper. That is going to happen. Now, reason number two why I think EVs are going to become more affordable to more people, there are more and more used electric cars than ever before. One of the easiest ways to drive a new EV is to lease it or finance it, especially if you run it as a company car because you get huge tax breaks. And every day, more and more of these cars that people have been leasing are coming to the end of their lease periods and flooding the market. More choice, lower prices. The other thing is that depreciation's on your side. People sometimes criticize EVs for their higher depreciation, but in the world of used cars, this is actually a good thing because the prices fall so quickly and that makes used cars more affordable. Check out the price of a used Porsche Taycan on Auto Trader. Less than 45 grand for a four-year-old car that cost about double when it was new. You can get a Jaguar I-Pace secondhand now for 20,000 pounds, five years old. That's just nuts. Originally, it cost, what, 70 grand? Obviously, there are questions about how long the batteries will last. That's a video for another day, and I will do that video, trust me. But that cheap Porsche example that I just mentioned still has about 50,000 miles of battery warranty left, and the Jag is still covered for another 65,000 miles. What happens beyond the warranty Again, topic for another day, and I will cover it in depth, but check out my video series where I bought the cheapest electric car in the country to see how bad the battery had deteriorated. And spoiler alert, it's actually not as bad as people think. Now, reason number three in my list of why electric cars will definitely get cheaper, simple one, Tesla. They're gonna have a huge impact on the overall electric car market. Last year, they slashed the price of the Model Y by 8,000 pounds. And because Tesla is so influential, millions of car sales will do that. A lot of its competitors basically did the same thing by either dropping their list price or offering better finance deals or giving other discounts. The average discount on a new EV right now is more than 10% off the list price. And some car makers will offer you even more than that. Right guys, before we continue, just a moment to fondle the play button and uh, to pass you to a very important roving reporter now who has a message about how you can get an electric car for free is that right we've hidden a tesla model y somewhere in the uk ready to be won all you've got to do 
is find it and work out the class auto trader valuation. But we'll help you with that bit. So tune in to the Auto Trader Ultimate Car Hunt Live for the chance to win a Tesla Model Y. What a nice chap, he's right too. We're doing a live stream on the channel on the 28th of March, first live ever, and we've hidden a Tesla somewhere in the UK, and if you find it, you could win it. Simple as that, details down below. Right, reason number four on my list of why EVs are bound to get cheaper, Tesla wasn't actually the biggest selling electric car brand in the world last year. That honor belonged to BYD, Build Your Dreams from China because they sold gazillions of cars in China, and now they're settling into Europe with a very simple aim, to sell gazillions of cars over here. And they've got one very specific advantage, cost. Low battery production costs in China means that manufacturers like BYD, GWM, and even MG can undercut European brands while still making a profit. I'll give you an example. In China, a BYD Dolphin costs about 13,000 pounds. That's how low they can push it. Here in the UK, because of import tariffs and other taxes, it's like 25 grand, but that's still quite cheap compared to rivals. And that value is why MG accounts for 4% of new car sales in the UK, 1% more than Tesla. And with brands like Omoda, Zika, Hyphi, and Neo all on the way, they all sound made up, don't they? But they are real. And they're all making very interesting looking stuff. That will mean EV prices will continue to be driven down. Right, number five, even without the Chinese influence, it's just a simple fact that the traditional European car makers are gonna have to get their electric cars priced on par with petrol equivalents. Right now, you're looking at 35% more for an electric car compared to a like-for-like -like petrol model. That's mainly because the materials and development costs are just so much higher. The batteries alone take huge amounts of energy and high-priced raw materials to make but battery production is getting cheaper. And I'm coming to that. And right now, faced with a stagnating EV market, brands face a pretty simple decision. Drop your prices or die. Number six, batteries really are getting cheaper and cheaper. According to Bloomberg, EV battery prices fell by 89% between 2010 and 2020, even if it doesn't always feel this way. And there are some good reasons for this. Number one, economies of scale. The more batteries you make, the cheaper it gets. Number two, manufacturers are localizing extraction and processing of raw materials to save cost and carbon. And number three, car companies are making their own gigafactories to build batteries where the cars themselves are being made. Nissan, they're spending billions of pounds doing exactly that in Sunderland in the UK. And number four, with time, car companies are getting better at repairing and repurposing existing batteries. Tesla, they say that 100% of their batteries are recycled. Not a single one goes to landfill. This is all much better for the environment and it makes things more cost effective for us. Win-win. The other important thing on this subject is that there are new battery types coming onto the market all the time. All EV batteries will use lithium ion of some variety, but there's a whole cocktail of other ingredients that batteries can use, especially if you wanna drop the price of that battery. Typically, we'll use nickel and cobalt in addition to the lithium, but there's another type known as LFP, lithium ferrous phosphate, which have a slightly shorter range but are cheaper to produce. That's the one that Tesla uses in the cheapest version of the Model Y to very good effect. That's what helped them cut the price by 8,000 pounds. Right, those are the six reasons that I think electric cars are gonna get cheaper imminently. Am I talking absolute rubbish? Hopefully not, but the proof, of course, will be in the pudding, and we're gonna find out very soon. People have been predicting price parity between EV and ICE forever now, and we're still not quite there, but with a bit of luck, we're gonna get there sooner rather than later. Let's face it though, if people are gonna actually buy EVs without having to take out a second mortgage, then all of this, it just has to happen. Right, I hope that gave you a bit of context and insight into where EV prices are headed. And if you wanna buy your own EV or petrol car right now, head over to Auto Trader UK. And if you wanna win one of your own electric cars, follow the link down below. Plus, you can stay up to date with all the latest happenings in the world of cars if you subscribe to Auto Trader UK like a million plus people have done already. Thank you for watching, guys. Any questions, drop them down below and I'll see you soon. Peace.